Well, it's interesting. I've had different views about the referendum, about the voice. Um, I started, you know, because I think the voice came about because John Howard dismantled ACTIC and, he's, and he wants it enshrined into the constitution so it cannot be taken away so easily. And now they come with the voice. And I'm, I'm a bit suspicious, to be totally honest, because you got the voice and they're using the term recognised in the constitution. And that sort of turned me off a bit. And I'm thinking, wow, that, that say one thing but mean another thing. And, and I'm a bit suspicious about that. But at the same time, yeah, this is very confusing for me too, you know. I look at um, the boys and as it says, you know, in the document, in, in the, um, why it came about in the first place, they say that um, it's going to be boys, truth and treaty. Well, I'm hoping that it will be honest. I feel like I've got to vote yes for the voice because I want, it's, it's piecemeal. It's only, it's got no power, but at least it will be in the constitution. And a lot of people say that only the top knot, but just like in ATSI, we had an opportunity to vote for the, person we want to represent us. We've already got the boys here in South Australia. I'm hoping the people that we put up to represent um, our local mob, like here in South Australia, the boys is divided up into six different areas. And um, so we are our local areas vote for our representative and I'm hoping that the people we will who we vote for will be true to what we want. Because a lot of times our people have always been told what to do, how to do it, where to do it. But we say we've got things that we want to do, that we value and that we see would work better than um, non-Aboriginal ways of doing things. Hmm.